What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Why You Should Love with me, the Lonesome Ravador. And today, I'm coming to you with a special episode of Why You Should Love, telling you why you should love Hitman Absolution. Watch that reflecting coming off my TV screen. <laughs> um, yeah, Hitman Absolution was a very kind of like uh, mixed reviews when it come down to the response from the public. People either really adored it due to the fact it was a Hitman game, or they kind of really didn't like it due to the fact that it was a Hitman game and they kind of strayed from the original kind of Hitman aspect to it. But, you know, I'm here today to tell you why you should love the game, no matter what other people say. Anyway, let's get this thing started. Number one, to be fair, you got to give credit where credit's due. The games back on PS2, the tri the yeah, the three that were on uh, PS2 were uh, indeed a classic, especially within my household. My dad absolutely adored the uh, the Hitman games, and to be fair, I haven't really strayed far from the tree. The game itself is absolutely fantastic. The games were anyway, and Hitman Absolution doesn't really fall far from the tree either. It still is a Hitman game, although a lot of people kind of didn't really enjoy it due to the fact that it was very linear compared to the whole uh, exploration, like the very free roam kind of aspect, the old ones. Uh, this one really does kind of take it in a different aspect, but it isn't in a bad way. I think personally it's a very good game still. The game itself lives up to the Hitman, um, Hitman name. Personally, this point is really, you should love it due to the fact it is a Hitman game. It continues with the fantastic character of Agent 47, and it continues uh, to explain some of the storyline as, as to the happenings after Blood Money, and it really does kind of explore the whole game altogether. It really is, it's an excuse to love this game, it really is. Anyhow, let's move on to my second point. So back on the old PS2 games, you often found yourself Often in situations in which you actually were dressed as a different character, say for example a, uh, a bin man, for example, and you're walking past another bin man, and a lot of the time if you got too close to them, they would all of a sudden notice who you were. In this game, they kind of introduced new aspects in which you would make that um, kind of situation a lot easier. I know some of you are like, easier, this is what Hitman's about, it's about being difficult, you're meant to be a Hitman. I fully respect that, but the fact is, just let me argue my point and I'll argue yours as well. So, um... They introduced this thing called an instinct, in which you can use to hide or blend better reasons to eat better into certain environments, such as I don't mean like I don't mean that such as the bad guy from Hulk One. I mean is there more as in where you can if you're dressed as a bin man, you'll act more like a bin man or something like that. But it kind of like blend makes you blend in more well with your costume, and therefore making characters notice you a lot less. But I know a lot of you are saying, oh hang on, this makes the game a bit too easy. But to be fair. The game itself does offer different uh, difficulty levels, so obviously you can turn the instinct off or just simply not use it at all, and you do gain a better points for not using instinct. So it does, it's really entirely up to you guys how you build it, but how you use it, and if you don't want to use it at all to make the game a lot harder, then it is up to you. The game doesn't make say you have to use this to continue, except for obviously the tutorial level, which it just teaches you how to do stuff, but I mean, you've got to accept it for that one, so just accept it for what it is. But yeah, that's just the way the game will really be, so it, you just, the way you play out is your choice. And uh, the instinct really does kind of help for some people, but if you don't want it to help, then it's fine. It, the game itself does offer you that kind of thing. So this point really is the game can be easier for some that can't handle it, and if you want to make it harder, you can as well. Anyway, let's move on to my third point. So ever since Red Dead Redemption did their little uh, shooty thing, and where they went in slow motion, chose certain shots, and Max Payne did it as well, a lot of games have really been kind of fallen to the trend of this, and I can't say that Hitman has really escaped the whole blow of it. They themselves also explored this as two, so they've really decided to go with a whole different aspect as well, and doing the whole slow-mo to deciding where to shoot and shoot in the heads or whatever. Same like Stranglehold. Stranglehold, very old game now. Anyhow, sorry, coming off topic. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like a cool little thing, which is quite cool, which they introduced to the game as in a lot differently to the old ones anyway. But yeah, continuing on from actually saying that, the game itself actually does introduce a new kind of combat system, including this like, slow-mo shooting thing. Uh, there's a lot more interactiveness with the items and stuff like that you use, you can throw weapons a lot more, and you can like you can interact with a lot more stuff to become a lot more of a deadly assassin. So it really does make the gameplay a lot better in a sense, as it makes it a lot smoother and a lot more deadly in a sense, so you'll become a lot more of a better assassin altogether. Anyhow, let's move on to my fourth point. This is a very unusual fourth point, but for any fans of Dexter out there, as in the Dexter TV series Michael C. Hall about the uh, serial killer who kills serial killers, there was oddly enough a voice actor from that TV series within this game. If any of you can remember an older character from the older series called Detective Lundy, he does the voice of the main villain with this game, within this game, which is quite cool. Well, not the main villain, but one of the main villains anyway, which you do eventually get to take out, so it's quite... Very chuffed with that. It's a nice little thing for Dexter fans to know that they can find a little bit themselves within this game. I'm just saying, but you know, I, I found it quite cool so far. I'd throw this in there. Anyway, let's move on to my fifth point. And so for my fifth and final point, I would just like to mention the storyline. The storyline this does kind of take a bit OTT for the whole uh, Hitman kind of series. It really does kind of go and blow the Hitman series out of the water, especially on the whole, not in the bad way though, as it blows it like in a sense like to the sky in a good way. It's, uh, 
I don't know if you can blow stuff into the sky in a good way, but you know. Um, but the storyline behind it really is kind of fantastic, and it really is kind of unique for the whole Hitman kind of thing, because there's a much more deeper connection between Hitman and a young girl, which they don't really explore properly in the old ones. The old ones is very him, bland, normal person, not normal person, a very like straight-faced kind of person, which only has one goal to kill certain people for the money. And instead on this one they explore the whole aspect that you uh, have an emotional feeling but, and towards you and another character. Which a lot of people didn't really like, which was understandable to be fair because it's very something we're not used to within Hitman. But personally I think it's something you can enjoy as it does kind of give uh, Hitman a, pers a bit of personality for a change and it does really kind of allow you to enjoy the game a lot more altogether. But, and, and as well his character which then leads on to enjoying the game a lot more anyway so you know that's all from me today thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen if you guys have any idea of any other uh, games which i should do in the future for why you should love then make sure you drop in the comment section below and i'll make sure i try and do them if i can anyhow ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching i've been lots from Avador. you guys have been beautiful as per ever and i will see you in the next episode thank you very much see you later guys goodbye what